In this video, we are going to see that how we can use ChatGPT to create WordPress plugins without writing a single line of code ourselves. This is going to be a short tutorial. However, make sure you watch the entire video because later in this video, I will show you which prompts you need to use to get the working plugin from ChatGPT. So here you can see that this is before I asked the ChatGPT to write the plugin for me to disable the right click on my WordPress based website and this is right after I inserted the plugin that ChatGPT created for me. So here you can see the installing the plugin option here. So without further ado, let's get started. So here you can see that I am on the ChatGPT. And here I'll insert a prompt that is write the code to disable right click in WordPress website. Here you can see that it has already started writing the code and it is suggested that we require the JavaScript code to disable the right click functionality on our WordPress based website. That is suggesting the whole code and writing the whole code for us that we can use on our website. However, what we want to do is to ask him to regenerate a response so that it can write a better code for us. All right, so here you can see that it has already generated an other code for us. This one is also the JavaScript code, but this one is very short code that will not affect the speed of my WordPress based website. So now what I want to do is to simply copy this code by clicking here. However, I would like to read what it is saying here. It is saying that in order to make this code work, you should add this code in the header.php file of your WordPress theme. So before asking him to write this code as a plugin, I want to test this code that whether it is working or not. So right now I am here on my website. If I refresh this website, and if I right click, you can see that right click is currently working on the website. So now I am in the dashboard of my WordPress based website. I'll go to appearance and then from here, I'll click on this theme file editor. So from here, I want to choose theme header. As ChatGP suggested, we need to insert the code in the theme header file. So I'll paste that code in the header file of my theme and then I'll hit update file here. Now you can see that we have a success message here. If I go back to my website and if I hit refresh again, now if I try to right click here, it is not working. So this indicates that the code that ChatGPT has created for us is actually working. So now what I can do is to remove this code from here because now I know that the code is working. I'll simply update this one here. Now I'm back to my ChatGPT again and now I'll ask the ChatGPT to compile this code as a WordPress plugin. So here you can see that it has already started generating the response for the prompt that I have created. And here you can see that it is writing the PHP code for me by compiling the code that it has generated right above here. So here you can see that it has already compiled the plugin for us. So next up, what we want to do as it is suggesting that this code create a new plugin called disable right click and use the WP head function. Here you can see that it is using the WP head function. So once you have created the plugin file, so we need to create the plugin file. For that, I'll use the VS code that I have already opened. So I'll open this VS code and from here, what I want to do is to create a new file. So for that, I'll click on this create a new file and I'll name this one as disable right click and I want to save this as the PHP extension and I want to save this on my desktop. So I'll save this one on my desktop and then I can insert the code that ChatGPT has created for us. So I have inserted this code here. Next up, what I want to do is to simply save this one. So I'll hit Control S on my keyboard so that these files can get saved. So this is now saved. We can, if you want, you can change this plugin name from here. You can insert the plugin URL here. You can replace this with your website URL or something else. Then you can write a description here and then you can change the version for the plugin here. You can insert the author name here and then you can insert the author URL here. However, in this video, I'm not going to do that. I'll simply save this file. And here you can see this is the file that we have just created. Now what I want to do is to select this file and I'll right click on this. And then using the archive tool, I'll add this into the archive. So from here, I want to use this zip option here. And then I'll hit OK and this file should be compiled 
as a plugin here you can see now we have this one as the plugin next up what i want to do is to go to my wordpress dashboard and then i can upload this file as a simple plugin and then we'll activate this file so for that what i want to do is to go to my wordpress dashboard again so i'm in the plugin section i'll click on add new here and then i'll click on upload file i'll click on choose file I'll go to desktop and here you can see I have this file that we have just created. I'll select this file and then I'll click on install now. So now I'll simply activate this plugin here. So now we have this plugin activated that is disabled right click here you can see it. So I will go to front end of my website and I'll hit refresh and now I'm doing the right click and this is not working. So this is how you can create any kind of plugin using the chat GPT. This was just one of the examples that how you can create those plugins. I hope you have learned something new from this video. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and make sure you hit the bell icon so that you will always get notified whenever we upload new video. Thank you very much. See you in the next time.